Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We just finished a side quest here at Anchime, so we're gonna move on to the Water Crystal, I'm pretty sure. So let's get out of this town. I saved, I healed, I did all that good stuff. Now we have to head back to the ship, and then I guess we'll go from there, because it looks like our... that yellow thingy is at the ship, not at the... whatever the Water Temple is, so... Oh! We gotta go talk to the old man again. I just remembered. We gotta go talk to that old man. So I'm gonna go ahead and run away from everything until we get to where we need to go. I feel guilty simply sitting around like this. We all need rest, my dear. Whatever we're to face next, let us do it with a full store of energy. Besides, I'm told exhaustion is murder on the skin. Think of your complexion. I... my what? Try to behave, ring a bell. You're upsetting the poor girl. Hmm, is that a hint of jealousy I detect? Perhaps it's you who's upset by... <laughs> You're hilarious! I can think of no sadder creature in this world than a man unable to inspire a little jealousy. It is... For now, I need some air. All this riding on the waves is... Do you suppose he's all right? Oh, leave him. A little seasickness will keep him quiet. Agnes, do you know the other Vestals? In your speech, you mentioned working with them. Oh. It is my hope that such a collaboration can be achieved, but I have yet to meet the Vestals of Earth or Fire. I know only the Water Vestal, Olivia. I have since we were children, as our temples stand in neighboring kingdoms. Since we became Vestals in full, we've exchanged no correspondence, but I fear the rotting of the seas is proof enough that some ill has befallen the Water Crystal. I pray that Olivia has fared better. Okay. That was fast. Feeling better? Yeah! Ah! No! Yes! <laughs> Vessel of the Wind Crystal, Agnes Oblige. Surrender at once. Or see your companion slain. I'm you, good, bruh. Dark night alternate dim. Who? What? Idea? You're all right. We've been mad with worry. But you are a captive to the Vestal no longer. Come, I will see she makes no move. Quickly, to my side. Come away from the Vestal. No, you keep away from him! If you intend to hurt Agnes or Tiz, he'll answer to me for it. What? What madness is this? You speak nonsense! I'm not her captive, and she poses no threat. I'm here of my own free will. What then? You betrayed the duchy? Betrayed your father? Have you lost your mind, girl? I'm entirely sane. In fact, there's much I've only begun to see clearly now that I've gone traitor. No more of this! Idea, bind the Vestal's hands. Do this now, and I'll forget all you've said here. Please. It seems you've already forgotten. I said no, Alternus. What new form of torment is this? I cannot bear these games, Adia. Do not do this to me. Take one step closer to Agnes and I'll do a lot worse. This is my decision. I'll hold nothing back. I may not be able to best you even so, but I will see that you bleed before I die. You're certain, then? I'm certain. Silencing you would be a simple task. 
But one slip of my hand and even the flat of my blade would mean your end. I'm a poor hand at holding back. Then don't bother. I'm not the sort to be cowed by threats, Din. Perhaps I get that from my father. <laughs> Are we gonna fight or I not? I keep this from your father. I ask once more. Will you reconsider? My mind is set. Stubborn girl. You're... Very well. I shall withdraw for now. But know this, Vestal. You and your abettors are ever under our watch. What you aim to do runs counter to the flow of progress. You place mankind on the road to annihilation. I'll not allow you to go unchecked. It's time your wings were clipped. Yeah. Oh, the Sky Stone! Cool your head before we next meet, Medea. Alternate! Okay, so we Tiz, just. Are you alright? Took out our flying device. I'm. I'm fine. Sorry I wasn't much use back there. If I'd been more. You're safe. That is all I ask. Idea! Who was that man? He knew you! He's a member of the Council of Six. The Duchy of Eternia's highest governing body. And the six people sending an army after Agnes. Your tone was familiar. You were close? We grew up together. Rejoice, jolly companions. I found the loveliest seashells out there. Here, a gift from... Uh... Hmm? Did I miss something? Oh, you really are hopeless, Ringabel. Hmm? Well? No good, I'm afraid. She won't budge an inch off the ground. Seems we're earthbound until we've another one of these sky stone things. Murkerker! Blast that alternate! And me for not seeing this coming! But we can't sit and stew here. Hurry up and do something! If the ship's grounded, that leaves travel by foot. I suppose we'll have to try our luck with this forest and its miasma. Fair enough. Let's see what we can do. Into the poison forest we go. Another step. It may be perhaps that the return of the winds has thinned out the miasma for us. Whatever the cause, we'd best take advantage of it. If we can pass, let us do so now. Okay. Let's do it. Try to get out of here as quick as possible then. Chapter two. Now we so chapter one, wind crystal, chapter two, water crystal. Let's get it. Ooh, we can finally see the council, maybe. I want to report on Anshine. Alternus, you're as good as any. Speak up. I've heard rumors the wind crystal was awakened, as they would have it put. Indeed. And worse, since its awakening, the crystal has been protected by a shield that bars all but the vestal. You made contact with the girl, did you not? Why did you not capture her then? 
Were these infamous allies of hers really so strong as to cow even you, Dark Knight? They... No. Among those I saw accompanying the Vestal, one of them was Idea. My, my, my. This is a twist. Quite so. A shocking turn. So what the... You saw her, tucked your tail, and ran home crying? <laughs> How miserable! Still, if this is the truth, it is a troubling one. We look to you to lead all the Eternian forces, Lord Marshal. For your daughter to abet the Vestal is... problematic. How would you have us proceed? Any who would join the Vestal in opposing us must be eliminated. Their birth matters not. Ah, bold words. But how truthful, I wonder. You would really allow her elimination? Your Lordship! The task before us is larger than us all. I'll not allow private matters to slow its course. Then... I shall go and speak with her again. Surely. I will go. It seems the Water Vestal is proving a problem as well. I shall go and pluck the both of them. I expect a suitable shower of accolades upon my successful return. Come, Victor! As you command. Lord Marshal. Are you certain of this? Okay. Fair enough. Ooh, we can buy stuff. Armory. Ooh, we got some stuff we can buy. Okay, okay. Magics. We already have all of those. Trader. I'm guessing we might need some more antidotes. Just to guess. So let me go ahead and buy a bunch of those. Two more teleport stones. Let's buy two more bells. Oh, echo herbs I might need. Okay, I think we're good on that end. So the only thing we have left is the armory, and I don't think... This is just the mithril stuff again, right? These might help a little bit. But I'm not going to spend my money on those. I think the... No... Okay, the only thing that I'll buy then is a Mithril Axe. Actually, which one's stronger? I'll just buy Mithril Axe, is, and I'll okay. Yeah, let's get this Mithril Axe on him. Yeah, okay. That'll, that'll be good. Now let's continue. Through... Ooh! Don't touch the water. Fair enough. What... My legs, my whole body's tingling. This swamp, it's poison. The wind carried off my asthma, but the swamp still has toxin. Is, is nothing easy? I hate poison. Every step hurts, and I feel like I'm going to be sick. We could always double back to town and stock up on antidotes. You worry too much. All, of, all we have to do is be careful to step around the marshy patches. Agreed. Let us be extremely careful when we walk. Okay, so. Good thing I bought a bunch of antidotes, huh? I am an absolute genius. Okay, so we just have to avoid the puddles, basically. Okay, let's go ahead and just set up our attacks here. Okay, with Adia, we'll go ahead and do... Well, what are we good against these guys? Blizzard? Thunder? Maybe Thunder. Let's do Thunder. Twice and use Arrow and Arrow. Okay, and that will be our main setup for this part of the valley, I guess. Okay, good hit. Yeah, Agnes isn't doing as much damage as she usually does. I might have to switch her to something else. Maybe? Okay, actually, no, never mind. She is doing damage. Because Tiz isn't doing that much damage, either. Well, actually, he's doing about the same, because he's doing about 150, just like her. So, I take that back. Are we not going to be able to kill these guys in one swipe? 
It seems like the game has caught up to our progress. Lullaby. Oh, don't put it to sleep. Yeah, it looks like the game caught up to our progress a little bit. It's a little bit of a shame. That's right. Yeah, it was like, fair enough. Yeah, we got to be good. Like, we had to trust with this was actually a magic keyboard game. Why is it turning off? I don't actually have control of this one. Fair enough. Yeah, we just did not die here. I just don't. I'll just. There we go. Don't die to that poison, please. Okay, we got to heal everyone's stat. Okay, lesson learned. These guys are a little tougher than most. Fair enough. I'm going to use some sword magic. Okay, let's get everyone up and running. Keep moving forward here. I'm gonna do it. Ah, yes. Save two seconds of time. Very much worth for probably around 100 p worth of antidotes. I guess it wouldn't have mattered either way. But it does save us that little trip around. Okay, these ones aren't as hard. It's just one butterfly and a scorpion. How hard could this be, right? Shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Okay, that fight wasn't so bad. That fight wasn't so bad. Okay. Miasma Woods. Central. Okay. Allies get first strike. You love to see it. Critical hit. You also love to see that. A little spin with the wind. Tiz is doing just as much damage as Anya is nowadays. And he has better defense. What more can you ask for, huh? Scantamar, okay. Well, now we have to unpoison everyone once again, but what is that? That is stronger. Okay, then. Definitely use one of those. Faux show, faux show. Oh, did I walk in another. Mushrooms? I don't like Spore. Oh, it's this type of enemy. If I hit it, it brings up another, huh? Disgusting. Then we'll have to do mass magic attacks, I think. and then. Okay, I was literally still in the water. I'm kind of dumb. 2,000 pig. We take that. Okay, we need to get more poisonous here. Okay. Okay, I'm so stupid. Literally just walked into that one. Okay, you know what? Just for this fight, I think I'm just gonna run. Yeah, let's just run because I just don't feel like fighting this one. I might even turn off encounters in a minute just so I could like, freely explore this place. Phoenix down. Okay, more magic. More poisonas. Okay, I can avoid this little puddle, that's for sure. So maybe go down this way first? Oh, okay, that way is just the exit. Let's just do the same thing. Let's just run. I will have to grind very soon. I That is inherently uh, obvious. I Because these guys, they're not anywhere near killing me, but they're getting very close. And this is the point where I'm like... Couldn't get away? In what world? Come on, bro. For real? Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Then I will just have to beat this up. Try, 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 try. The fire will work again. Brave. Try. 
A little frustrating. A little frustrating. That's alright. Okay, um magic. We're using a we're using a lot of magic today. Cure. Yeah, we're running out of MP with Ring of Bell already, so. I'm just gonna run and get that chest. High potion. Probably not worth it at all. Okay, let's take care of the poison now. Do a little bit of running with the poison, you know? It's good for the... What is... Where does this take me? Oh, it takes me to that little chest over there, right? Not before an encounter. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's just... I'm gonna do the auto. I'm gonna run myself. I'm gonna do this. There we go. Okay, no, he doesn't run. I'm gonna do okay, that. And here, no, let's do black fire. Actually, that was good. That was good. Hopefully, take my little turn here. There we go. Well, we're slowly earning that pig and XP. X potion. Okay, don't really need those, honestly. It's a little bit of a thank you, but honestly, I wasted a lot of time just getting to it. I don't care, I'm just gonna run across. Earthing rod, fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna need to uh, use an ether on him for show here. Let's see, do I, what, what do I have? I have a Turbo Ether. Man, I might just use it. Well, let's give it one more time, and then we'll use it. Let's give it a little longer here. Because if I get out in a minute... Oh, okay, let's kill these. These moths are easy to beat. They have low HP, and we can just beat them up, so... Let's go ahead and actually fight this one here. Oh. oh man, that went down wrong. Let's <coughs> see if this usually happens in real life. <coughs> it's kind of embarrassing, right? <coughs> That's the thing about me. I'm probably going to leave that in the video because... Whatever. You know, YouTube's supposed to be one big family, right? So y'all... Okay, see this one, I am going to run away. Because I don't want to fight that spore thing. Maybe if I want to come and level grind, I'll come. But not now. Not now. I wonder, should I go back? Because this seems like that's the way forward. And I want to check out what's over here first. Okay. Ether. I'm just going to run across this pond. Remedy. Okay, and I want to just finish up that path real quick and then we'll continue. Let's run away. You got away, perfect. I'll heal up and then we'll go into the main guy. Okay, so, alright, I just needed to get get that path real quick. Um, yeah, we'll definitely have to use a turbo ether. Okay. Hello? Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and use some antidotes. Mmm, no, we'll just, what we'll do... We'll use Tiz's Cure Magic for now. There we go. And we'll just use a Turbo Ether. Bruh. Whatever. I guess we won't have any Turbo Ethers. Totally didn't mean to use that on Tiz, but... Yeah, what are you gonna do? Okay. Items. Can I buy anything useful? Not really. Equipment. This new? None of this stuff is better. Lamb. Mmm. This might be good, actually. Hold on. Um. <clears throat> this might be good. Let's get that Lambent hat. Wait, this might be even better. Rainbow dress. Okay. okay. Okay, spent a little bit of money there. Maybe a little too much money. But that's alright. We're going to grind later, like I said. So it's not really not that big of a deal. Well, this is unusual. It's not often you reach out to contact me directly, Dark Knight. I'll not take up more of your time than necessary. 
I have a request of a delicate nature. The Blood Rose Legion is deployed in Florum. If this favor poses no conflict to my mission, I'll consider it. The Vessel of Wind has entered Florum. We're certain of it. Ah. Hence the news I just received that Victoria and Victor will be joining us there. I see. The only problem is that Idea is accompanying her. Accompanying the Vestal? She's been deceived, seduced by that witch's words. I tried to talk some sense into her, but the two of you are practically sisters. <laughs> Perhaps she'll listen to you, if not me. Will you do this? <laughs> That girl has caused you no end of grief over the years. Very well. I shall do all I can. But, should my sisters make contact first? Best you gave up on her. I'm afraid even I can scarcely keep these two in check any longer. I... I understand. Girls. You heard him. You will continue your current mission as ordered. The Vestal may attack at any moment. Stay vigilant. Yes, sister. And who is you? Foul stench. Ah, uh, does anyone else smell something funny? Yeah, what is that? Perhaps we're smelling the Miasma Woods' namesake. I doubt it. The wind is blowing in the opposite direction. I feel like it's coming from the north. Ring bell. When was the last time you took a bath? Heh. <laughs> if it were my if it were my natural musk, you and Agnes would be losing your minds with desire about now. Nothing. No response at all. Fair enough. Um. Let's go ahead and give it a quick save a roo here. Yes. Save. Continue. Um, a little update on the town, I guess. Okay, 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 okay. Got a couple things done here. Let's give it a few villagers there. A few villagers there. And, let's see. Basket claws. Let's get those out of the way. Some wind stuff. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, and everything else is almost done, so we'll just leave it. Okay. Fair enough. Can we go... Inside of here? We've no reason to come to such let Okay, so they're gonna kick me out. Fair enough. Let's go to actual delegate oh this is just Norende stuff. Is it something the matter tis? No, I was just thinking about Norende. I mean what's the most efficient way to rebuild do you think? Most efficient? Right, once we recruit the people to help, how do I go about delegating work to them? I haven't got a head for numbers. Uh me neither. How about you, Ring a Bell? Not much, I'm afraid. I don't even know how many girlfriends I have right now. I've been beating my head against the wall thinking of who to date in what order. Perhaps you're hitting the wall hard not not hard enough. I'd be happy to help. I suppose we really all need a simple division. There are three buildings which each take three days to build. We have three people to a lot. Then assigning one per building will take three days for all of them. Or put three on one and build it in one day. That's still three days to build all three. Wait, so there's no difference, then why bother worrying about it? It isn't the same though. In the latter case, you use of the you have use of the first building after one day, and the second after second. It's a small difference, but a difference still. Assigning all three to each project earns the quickest gains and may be most efficient. Hey, you're right. Okay, let's keep moving on here. Let's go straight to the town we're supposed to go, because it seems like that's where the game wants us to go. Okay, I'm like a little confused on how these towns work. Okay, so we get out of the place and we still have these. Are they still the same creatures? I wonder if they're still... Do they still poison me and all that? Oh, I guess we'll never know. Okay, so this is the town we need to go to right here. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and comment, ask for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and...